So in this module, we're going to talk about real-world studio lighting tools and how to recreate these in CG. Understanding how these real-world tools work will allow us to set them up and recreate them in Maya, and then move on and emulate real-world lighting scenarios. OK, let's get going. OK, let's take a look at the studio. So why does a photographer choose to shoot in a studio? Well, the primary reason is full control of the light and the environment. Studios are often painted white or some other neutral gray. The idea is to keep color out of the bounce light and to keep all the colors neutral. Now a studio can be quite small, set up in a spare room in an office with a psych, which we'll talk about later, or it can be large in a custom built set, like in this example here. So the main tool in the studio is the cyclorama or psych as it's more commonly known. This is a smooth, flat surface designed to minimize shadows. In a smaller studio, it can be a roll of material that's hung down, or in a larger studio, it can be built into the structure and wrap around two or three of the walls. Now, traditionally, these have been used in theater as backdrops to stages. So for instance, it could be some scenery painted in the background or a skyscape. And in older films, cycloramas were often used outside of windows on sets. For instance, if there was an apartment that was built as a set, through the window there could be a psych with a painting of a skyline. And now for the type of lighting that we're going to be looking at, that is for fashion, portraiture or automotive, the psychs are pretty much always going to be a white or a neutral grey. OK, let's take a look at our CG studio in Maya. As you can see, it's a pretty simple setup. Here's the psych. It's curved on the back corner to give smooth shadows and smooth lights. And here we have a pretty classic automotive lighting setup. We've got a soft box on the top that's been flagged. We've got a number of bounce cards. We also have a light that's being used to light the psych in the background. Let's take a look at the rendered image. So we can see behind the car, there's a soft light that's been cast back. This is from the spotlight that has been shone onto the psych. This very much matches in the real world how this lighting would happen. Sometimes we can use soft pools of light to add a little bit of definition to the background so it's not a pure black, and also to give something to reflect into the car. And we can see that the curve of the psych means all the shadows and the light blend together. And let's take another look at the scene. We can see it's a very simple setup. There's not that much light or geo in there. This very much reflects what a photographer is going to try to do in the real world. The whole point of a studio is to simplify and minimize the amount of extraneous light sources. So anything we do add, we're going to have a lot of control over. And this really matters here because a small adjustment in any of these lights or reflection boards will have a big impact on the lighting of the car. We'll see this in action when we dive into automotive lighting in a later module. 